A new Deichmann store. 60 euros for a pair of shoes isn't that much by European standards. But the company's CEO is quick to stress that these are by no means cheap goods. Cheap is not a word I would attribute to us. Our products are good value. We aim to offer the best price-performance ratio on the market. So if we're offering a shoe for 19 euros 90, then it has to be the best shoe you can buy for 19 euros 90. Deichmann sells 120 million pairs of shoes every year, worldwide. The company doesn't make its own shoes, instead it buys them in bulk, primarily in India and China, therefore cutting out the middleman, and that keeps the prices low. Prices that generally attract a young female clientele. I like buying shoes from Deichmann. I can buy 10 pairs of shoes instead of spending 100 euros on one pair somewhere else. The company was founded in 1913. The company archive holds photographs documenting all periods of the firm's history. It all began with a small cobbler shop which has now grown into a corporation. There's been continual growth both at home and abroad. We now have 1,000 branches in Germany alone, something I think old Heinrich Deichmann would never have dreamt of. It was his son who opened a succession of branches in the 1950s. The company was growing, as was the family. Today, the managing director's responsibilities are shared by Heinrich Sr. and Jr. The company's annual turnover stands at 3 billion euros. The business model has remained the same since operations began. It was important to my grandfather to produce quality shoes his friends could afford. It was also important to my father to resist the temptation to raise prices in the 1950s and 60s as prosperity grew, and instead to keep the prices low so that everyone could afford our shoes. Heinrich Deichmann finances an advice center in his hometown of Essen. It's a place for young migrants or socially disadvantaged young people who are having trouble finding work. Christianity runs like a thread through the Deichmann family history. God has given us gifts. One of those gifts is money. If we are successful and make money, then we would like a portion of those profits to go to people who are in such dire need that they can no longer help themselves and are reliant on help from others. Every year he employs two to four youngsters who have not managed to find a job elsewhere. For example, this young man who left school without any qualifications. He's been working at the main warehouse here for two years. In the end, the company also benefits from the arrangement. We work in the logistics division where the workload can change from one day to the next. There are days when we work five hours. There are days when we work nearly ten hours. This is when employee satisfaction is evident. Are they willing to work the overtime at short notice? On their own initiative and not just because they have to? The samples department. When it comes to fashion, the company has to stay on the ball and be ahead of the game. After all, there are plenty of shoe shops selling wares at even more rock-bottom prices. Of course we've got to increase our turnover, because costs are going up as well. And of course we want to make a profit, because otherwise we can't invest and expand as a company. Profit is important, but it's not the be-all and end-all. Deichmann is opening 280 new branches this year alone across the world. It's the largest expansion in the company's history to date, and this despite the global economic slowdown.